Okay, so um, hello everyone and welcome to our, our session today. My name is Craig, I'm from the University of Wollongong and I'm the regional manager for specialising, I guess, in South Asia. Uh, today we're here with IDP Bangladesh office and I'm really, really happy to be here. Um, what I'm hoping to do that today for you is just to go through some, some really key points about the University of Wollongong and also just how we're adapting to the, the current global crisis that, we're, that that's, I guess, taking, taking the world by storm. Um, I'll go through some scholarship information, as well as some of the support services that we have here on campus in Wollongong. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, as I'm sure you're all very aware, uh, the world is in a different state than it was only a matter of, you know, six months ago. And uh, as, an, as an educational institution who, who really relies on and enjoys having international students on campus with us, we've had to adapt to these current changes and um, really give our support to our international students, both onshore and the students who are wishing to start studying with us as soon as possible. Um, some of the support mechanisms we've put in place are our financial assistance grant scheme, the adjustment to some spring dates, uh, the moving over to a remote learning, but also adding a bursary to this, reduced deposits, deferrals and refunds. I'll go through each one of these individually, just so you're all really aware of um, the details behind some of these supports that we offer. So we're offering a COVID-19 financial assistance grant scheme. Now this is for students who are already in Australia and studying at the University of Wollongong. Um, so we have experienced an unprecedented call for support from our uh, international students on campus uh, during these times. And to, um, I guess, assist our students when a lot of the casual jobs have um, sort of finished up and it's harder to get work and um, getting money sent in from overseas has become a little bit harder as well. We're offering our students a $1,500 living expense as well as a technology support. Now this technology support is in the form of internet cards and loan laptops, for example. So this allows our students who are here on shore who may not have those sort of facilities to remain connected to their friends, their classes and keep their educational um, degrees going. We've also made a slight adjustment to our spring dates. And the reason behind this is that our spring session for 2020 will be delivered on a remote learning platform. So, so this means that if you're uh, hoping to start your studies as soon as possible, you can still do that. And you can do that via staying where you are and undertaking your classes, your lectures, your tutorials, all remotely. Uh, so the, the first day of enrollment for spring session 2020 is now the 3rd of August. Now I mentioned obviously that we have moved to remote learning, uh, but for any student who wishes to, to start straight away, and I do highly recommend that you, you do consider starting straight away because there is no time like the present to get your degree started. And we are really hopeful that this um, remote learning sort of package idea will only be for this session. And by, by uh, autumn session 21, we should be hopefully back to some form of face-to-face -face learning. So what we're offering is a 10% discount or a 10% bursary as you call it uh, on your fees. So, the great thing about this 10% bursary is that it can actually be stacked with any other scholarships that you've already got. So say for instance, you've been successful in getting one of our 30% scholarships. We are obviously more than happy to add this 10% on top of that, thus making your discount 40%. Uh, any students who have ETS programs or English language programs at our college uh, will also receive a 20% discount on intakes three, four and five in 2020. Uh, now this is for students who also are really looking at getting started as soon as possible. Now the University of Wollongong really is aware that uh, in all countries around the world uh, a lot of banks and financial institutions have either reduced the hours of operation or some of them have shut down completely uh, just due to the crisis and that makes getting funds and transferring funds just a little bit more difficult than it used to be. So normally when you wish to accept an offer with the University of Wollongong, we do expect you to pay the first full semester plus overseas health cover. For any students wishing to start now and undertake the remote learning, we're actually uh, reducing the deposit uh, right down to $5,000 flat fee plus the overseas health cover. 
Now, we do require the rest of the, the semester, first semester's tuition, and that's due approximately four weeks later. So really what we're doing is giving you a, a, small, a window of time where you can pay your uh, $5,000 deposit, get your COE, and then start your classes. And that's the same COE that we, you would use to apply for your student visa once the departments of home affairs and, and immigration, et cetera, all start moving forward again. Uh, if you do already hold a COE, but you know, just due to the circumstances or you're finding that this, this isn't really the right time for you to start your degree, uh, we are offering uh, to accept applications of up to full, full refunds of any deposit that you may have paid. Um, and also, oh, sorry. And so any, for any student who wishes to defer, which certainly again is a, is a very fine option, um, what we're actually offering to students who wish to defer is taking the offer that you have now with the 2020 fees and giving you an offer for 2021 with those same fees. So we really are taking a snapshot of what you have now and moving it to 2021. So that way there's no real financial disadvantage to deferring. And of course, any scholarships or bursaries that you did receive in your current offer will also be transferred to 2021. Um, another great note uh, of interest is that UW Wollongong has actually been assigned regional status. Now, certainly speaking to IDP, uh, we'll give you further information about this, but I can say that there were some new visa conditions announced in November 2019. So this basically states that any student who studies at the UW Wollongong campus for more than two years will be able to access one of 25,000 dedicated regional places. You'll also receive priority processing on regional visas. There will be access to a regional occupations list containing many more jobs than the non-regional list. And also you'll, you'll be able to apply for an additional year of post-study work visa, thus totaling three years of post-study work rights. This is a great opportunity for you to, to study at a world-class university and also uh, obtain some form of post-study work rights benefits as well with that. Now, what I always like to do in my presentations is show a very short video. Uh, this shows some of our, our world-class rankings, but also some scenery of, of the city of Wollongong and the Wollongong campus. I'm not sure if you're able to hear that actually. Just bear with me. Um, there's normally music in the background. So I'm, I'm sorry, there's no music. I'm not sure why it's there, I'm not there this time. So, so obviously, as you can see, we really are a world-class university with, with um, I guess, really modern and top of the top of the line um, facilities on campus. And as you can see, we have campuses and partners all around the world. 
Now, the, 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 univer- the, the city of Wollongong itself is a city of around 300,000 people, and it really is a university city. The city itself revolves around what the university is doing. So uh, I guess when, when we're not sort of in the, in the COVID crisis, there are many, many, many part-time jobs for international students. As you can see, we, we, we live on the water. So that means there's hotels, restaurants, cafes, bars, nightclubs. All of these places hire uh, international students because they work really well around uh, with, your, with your study schedule, as well as any other schedules that you may have. Um, we also experience really great weather here with, with you know, not, it doesn't get too hot and it certainly doesn't get too cold. And one of the greatest things about the city of Wollongong is it's only 85 kilometres from the centre of Sydney. So while we are our own city and have our own identity, certainly the city of Sydney being an hour and a half drive away really is uh, convenient. The University of Wollongong itself has over 35,000 student enrolments. And of those, almost half are international students from nearly 200 different countries. So again, I, I lean back on the idea that it's a, a global education you'll be receiving. You'll, you'll be in classes with students from all around the world. And these relationships that you're building in these classes will last you through your entire career. Uh, we have nine Australian campuses and four international campuses. So obviously Dubai, China, Hong Kong, and Singapore. Uh, in regards to some of the great scholarships we currently have on offer for 2020, uh, we do offer what we call the University Excellence Scholarship. Now, as you can see, that's a 30% scholarship uh, for high achieving students coming out of, of high school. So as an example, if you study uh, high school in India, what we're looking for is your best three academic subjects. And then when we average these subjects out, we're looking for 85% average of the best three academic subjects. And if you achieve that, you will get a 30% scholarship automatically. So there's no extra paperwork to fill out, no extra sort of forms or, or guides you need to do. It will be done at the time of assessment when you make your application. Now, if you don't get that score, we do also offer a India country bursary as an example. This is a 10% uh, country bursary for citizens who of our Indian citizenship. Now, it is limited to a number of different courses, but rest assured, the courses that it does include are your things like Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of IT, Bachelor of Engineering, um, Bachelor of Computer Science. So a lot of the, the really, I guess, um, mainline degrees that a lot of our students are interested in are covered by that 10% bursary. So if you don't qualify for the 30, you could almost be assured that you will get at least a 10% discount. When it comes to our postgraduate scholarships, the, the theory works very similar that we have a 30% scholarship again for our uh, high achieving students coming out of Indian universities. So for an Indian student studying in a section one university, we're looking for an average final score of 55%. For a section two university, we're looking at 60% and a section three university, we're looking at 70%. Now in regards to those sections and, and the difference between the two, IDP Bangladesh, once you make your application, we'll be able to help you with that information. Um, now, if you don't qualify for that 30%, again, we have an India country bursary, which is 20%. So it's 30 and 10 at undergraduate or 30 and 20 at postgraduate. Now they can't be stacked. So it doesn't, unfortunately, uh, you can't get a 50% scholarship, but certainly feel comfortable that if you make an application to the University of Wollongong, you will be assessed for any possible scholarships that we can give you without any extra forms or anything else to do, it will just be a done at the time of assessment. The other great thing about Wollongong is the cost of living. Now I mentioned that we are only 90 minutes or an hour and a half from the center of Sydney. So that really gives us a great um, opportunity for students to travel back and forth and, and see the city of Sydney while still living in Wollongong where it costs much less to live. So as an example on this chart here, if you were to live in Sydney in a, say, a three bedroom home with, with a couple of friends, for instance, you'd looking at a monthly cost of your rent, just your rent of around $4,000 Australian per month. For the same style of home in Wollongong, uh, you're looking at around half that cost at $2,000. So the cost of living in Wollongong is much less, which means more money in your pockets. Um, 
while we also have many, many different private rental options available, we of course have what we call our hostels or university accommodation. And these accommodations are scattered both on the campus and also throughout the city of Wollongong. So as you can see on the little map on the right there, there are a number of blue little blocks all spread out through the city with a couple with three on campus and four through the city. These are university owned accommodation um, options. They are for students only. They have 24 hour security. Uh, each student's bedroom has its own key card um, swab, I suppose you'd call it. So very safe, very secure. And like I said, it's for it's university owned and it's for students only. Uh, all the different options, you could walk to the university from any of these options, uh, ranging from a, a 10 minute walk to probably a half an hour walk uh, from Campus East. Now, the other great thing to, to note on this map actually is a red line and a blue line. These lines are free buses that run uh, from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day of the week, every stop, every 10 minutes. So it's like a shuttle bus, I suppose, that runs all day. So no matter where you live, either in university accommodation or within private rental uh, in the, the CBD, you can be assured that you'll be on or very close to a stop on the free bus line, which means you can hop on, hop off wherever you like. Uh, the bus will take you to the university campus, take you to the beach, take you to the center of the city uh, where all the shopping, the shopping mall, et cetera. Um, so really, no matter where you live on the on within the CBD, you'll be close to a free shuttle bus line, and that's that's a really great initiative, uh, which is covered by the local government as well as the University of Wollongong. Once you're on campus, uh, what I like to say is it really is like a city within a city. Everything you as a student or as a person would ever need is on campus. So we have over twenty different options to get food. We have 10 different places to get your morning coffee fix before you start those big classes. We have our uni shop, which covers all your academic books and stationery, etc. We have a grocery store, which has fresh meat, uh, pasta, rice, fresh fruit, vegetables. All the things uh, you would need on a daily basis is stored uh, on our, our grocery store on campus. We have a 24 hour library and of course our gymnasium with Olympic size swimming pool. Now, I did mention before, it's like a city within a city. That's because also the other services we do have on campus are things like doctors, dentists, hairdresser, movie theaters, travel agent, post office. We have a bar on campus. So it really is a city within a city. So everything you as a student would ever need is there. And it's all within walking distance. So once you enter those front gates, you really don't have to leave again unless you wish to obviously look around in the city. Um, some of the other great support services we have at UAW are our student support advisors. So these are students who have undertaken either a whole degree or part of their degree already and wish to show their support to new and incoming international students and help them guide their way through things like enrolment, uh, subject selection, where buildings are, um, attending different classes, just to show you how, how the university works here in Australia. We also have our UW Wellbeing Unit. And this unit's sole responsibility is to look after the well-being and healthy life balance of all our staff, of all our students, sorry. Of course, we offer, they have counseling services on campus, both for uh, students and their direct family members. And of course, like I mentioned, we have doctors, dentists, and dietitians on campus for, for any, any sort of uh, services that you may require. Uh, we also offer peer assisted study sessions. So this is a bit like the student support advisors, but again, a bit more detailed in regards to maybe the subject that you're doing. So you'll get a, you may need to see a peer assisted study session with a, with a helper who's already done the subject that you're, that you as a student may be looking into, and you may have hit some roadblocks. Uh, we have a really great technology rich learning. So nearly every classroom has electronic whiteboards, um, you know, laptop charges, everything is there for you as a student. Our library has 3D printers and over a million different books available to borrow. Um, some of the great other things you can do outside the academic sort of world while you're here on campus is join one of the 120 different clubs and societies that operate uh, all year round. So whether you're interested in cooking or potentially skiing 
or even Harry Potter. There's a social club for nearly every interest that you may have. With that also is there, there is also student association groups. So as an example, we have an Indian student association group, Nepalese Indian, uh, Nepalese student association group. And these are where students of different nationalities can meet together to support each other through different things. They celebrate cultural events. They go on road trips together. It's a really great um, opportunity for you as a student to, to stay in touch with, uh, I guess, people from your own country while integrating into the Australian lifestyle. Of course, uh, doing a, a big long degree at a university, uh, you really are focused on, on job, job prospects once you finish. And again, we have a entire unit on campus dedicated to assisting you with job prospects. So we offer online career resources. So it's like a jobs board where where local employers and employers from Sydney, they want to advertise to our students. So they have an online job board, which you can access and look for jobs that may suit you. Uh, there's also work integrated learning subjects. So these are like extracurricular subjects you can take as part of your degree, which uh, provide real world experience uh, in industry uh, internships and industry projects. Twice a year, we also have career expos on the campus where Again, local employers, employers from Sydney and employers from different parts of Australia even will come to the Wollongong campus just to meet, network and build relationships with, with you as students so that um, you know when the time comes and you finish your degree, you've already got these, these relationships and these networks started. So hopefully applying for a role within their, their um, employment is made easier for you. But of course, we have lots of different mentoring programs and support programs to help you, um, you know, with your resume, get your interview skills up to scratch. It's a really great initiative that we have on campus and is available to all our students. So that's it in regards to, I guess, the, the overview of the University of Wollongong and the city of Wollongong and some of the great things that you'll really experience uh, once you come to Wollongong. What we're actually going to do now is I'm just going to let you know that in a week's time, uh, we'll actually be able to be doing one-on-one -on -one interviews uh, with any student who may be interested in learning a bit more about Wollongong or discussing your academic transcripts or discussing the, the, the benefits of some of the programs that you may be interested in. So next Tuesday, the 21st of July at 11 a.m. Bangladesh time, uh, you'll be able to meet either myself or my other, other colleague, Pratik, uh, and we'll be able to, to meet with you one-on-one -on -one and discuss any of the concerns or, or thoughts you may be having about coming to Australia, coming to Wollongong specifically, and hopefully we can um, really show you what a great place to study that the University of Wollongong really is. So thank you for your time. Um, if you've got any questions, please put them in the chat box and I'll be able to answer them now. Uh,